Hello folks and welcome back to the Super Yacht aka the E65 7 Series project. Now I know you guys have been saying to me, Damien, what's going on with the Super Yacht? Well, today we're going to give you a bit of an update. We have a rather important piece of the puzzle has just arrived, so let's take a quick look. Ta-da! So, what we have here, uh, sitting on our trusty crappy engine crane, is a 2017 Renault Zoe battery. And this is the battery that we are going to use to power our trusty 7 Series project. Now, as you might be able to see, this particular battery has had a bit of surgery done to it because in order to get it in the van we used to transport it, uh, we had to cut off the far side version of this horrible thing here. Uh, because it literally would not fit in uh, between the rear wheel arches of the crappy van. So, some excellent surgery with a 9 inch grinder um, has provided us with the ability to get it in the van and henceforth get it down here. Now, so what we've got to do now before this rather mm, imminent rain decides to pay me a visit is to get the cover off, get the cells and the bits and pieces that we need out of it, get those bits in the shed, and uh, then we can uh, then we can get rid of the, sh the shell because obviously um, that is not going to fit as it sits now into the super yacht. So. Uh, probably do some kind of a time lapse or something like that or show you guys a few pictures because this is going to get a bit uh, busy now soon uh, but looks like the usual suspects here I can unbolt this bit of aluminium here and then we've got all these little look like 10 mil studs have to come off we can get the cover off see what's going on in there and uh, Gonna try and take out the BM, BMS also. Might might be bits in there that we can use, like contactors and fuses also. Uh, so right, uh, that's enough talk. The rain is not getting any further away, so uh, I'm gonna get started. Like we got more screws to take out. So I've spared you guys the just the usual suspects pulling out screws, nuts, fasteners, whatever you want to call them. So it looks like we got some more to take out before we can actually get to the, the cells. Um, seeing some LG Chem stickers here. Assume this is a cooling duct. Um, obviously some kind of BMS control unit, up here we have our disconnect and output wires, yeah it looks like this goes out to the main connector here, so okay time for more stripping down I guess, this is first look inside our Zoe battery. Looking good so far. Okay, so we got more of that metal stripped off. It looks like we're now down to our battery mo modules. Um, so it looks like each one of these is a module. Oh yeah, positive, negative. Positive, negative. 
Okay, let's go grab a multimeter and see how much juice is in these. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 12 modules and the BM BMS taps are on the side. Um, I've also removed the BMS controller. We've got a fuse holder and a rather fancy looking 275 amp fuse. So let me go grab a meter and see what's going on here. All right. See what we get. Positive and negative. I got 30 volts, 31 volts. 30 volts, exact same. I'm not going to bother doing all of them. Yeah, 30 volts. So it looks like there's 12 30 volt modules. Okay. That is interesting. Yeah, we got 12 30 volt modules. I'm imagining they're being held down by these studs here, BMS taps here, and the taps to series them in the middle. Oh, very, very nice. I like it. All right, so at this point, I have the disconnect BMS harness pulled off uh, here in the front of the battery. We've got some kind of, a, kind of a contactor block. So it looks like pre-charge relays, another one of those 275 amp fuses, and a current sensor in there as, as well. We'll have a closer look at that later. Um, just fighting the weather at the minute. Uh, okay, so a bit of plastic there, gonna need that. Don't know what this thing is, um, I'll look at that later. Uh, but right now, basically, i uh, pulled all the bolts out of the modules. They're these kind of six mil type things, there's a lot of them. Um, so right now, yeah, our batteries are pretty much free. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these modules out. We'll take a closer look at them once I'm not worrying about rain. So stand by for more. Okay guys, so these are our modules. Uh, I've just pulled them into the shed here now. We've got a total of 12 of them. Uh, they basically sit on half of the pallet, which is pretty amazing uh, other good things we've got we got the BMS harness which seems to be very smart um, very well done uh, there's none of the kind of nonsense there so we've got the two harnesses each one does six of the modules uh, bus bars and fuses contactors all that so this is pretty much our battery now uh, for the E65. Um, so I also picked up the stripped out the uh, disconnect so that'll be handy uh, but that's it really that's the battery it's uh, ama amazing only info I have is there's some LG, LG Chem uh, uh, kind of name tags on there but that's about it so that's for what I've got for you. So that's it folks. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little update episode. I've got some pretty exciting things coming down the road uh, in terms of the super yacht and the E36 hasn't been forgotten either. So until then, um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, check links in the description for my Patreon and PayPal in case you should wish to financially support any of my crazy pro projects. Um, also, there will be a link in there to my GitHub uh, where you can download all of my stuff. And uh, so that's it. So until then, folks, um, happy battery stripping.